Hey everybody, in this video, we're going to be learning about a calculus concept called differentiability. Let's start with a definition. A function is said to be differentiable at x equals c if the derivative exists at x equals c. Let's look at some examples of where a function is not differentiable. A function is not differentiable at a corner, a vertical asymptote, a cusp, a vertical tangent, a discontinuity, or at an endpoint. For all of these cases, the derivative does not exist. Here's an example of a function that's differentiable everywhere. In other words, this function is differentiable over its entire domain. The function is smooth and continuous. There are no corners, cusps, asymptotes, or discontinuities. Let's now do some examples that show how to determine algebraically where a function is differentiable. Find all values of x where f of x is not differentiable, where f of x equals the quantity of x minus one to the one third power. Let's start by taking the derivative. f prime of x equals one third times the quantity of x minus one to the negative two thirds power. And this is the same as one over three times the quantity of x minus one to the two thirds power. Now we can determine what values of x will make the denominator zero, and those are the x values where f of x is not differentiable. Here we can see that f of x is not differentiable at x equals one, because if we plug in one, then we'd be dividing by zero. Here's a graph of f of x. At x equals one, f of x has a vertical tangent. So we can see graphically that f prime of one does not exist, because the slope of the tangent at x equals one is undefined. Let's do another example. Determine if f of x is differentiable at x equals pi, where f of x equals sine squared x. So what we need to do is take the derivative and see if the derivative exists at pi. f prime of x equals two sine x cosine x by the chain rule. f prime of pi equals two sine pi cosine pi. And this simplifies to zero. So we can conclude that since f prime of pi exists, then f of x is differentiable at x equals pi. Now, let's look at an example of a piecewise function. Here we have a piecewise function that is continuous at x equals two. But is it differentiable at x equals two? Let's find out. The first thing we'll do is take the derivative of this function. Since this function is made up of two functions, we need to take the derivative of each piece separately. Note that when you take the derivative of a piecewise function, you have to pay special attention to the inequality signs. In the original function, the conditions are x less than two for the first piece and x greater than or equal to two for the second piece. When we take the derivative, the equal sign is dropped from the condition that had the equal sign. And this is because two is where the function breaks. That means it's an endpoint for each of the pieces and we can't take the derivative at an endpoint. Remember, a function is not differentiable at an endpoint. And that means the derivative function does not exist at x equals two. But this leads us to a paradox. How can we find f prime of two if the derivative function doesn't exist at x equals two? And the answer is limits. We're gonna take the limit of f prime of x as x goes to two from the left and the limit of f prime of x as x goes to two from the right and see if they match. In this case, the limit from the left side equals four and the limit from the right side equals two. That means the limit of f prime of x as x goes to two does not exist. And since the left and right sided limits of the derivative do not match, we can conclude that f of x is not differentiable at x equals two. Looking at this graphically, we can see that the slope from the left side approaches four, while the slope from the right side approaches two. Since the slopes from the left and the right don't match, we have a corner point on the function, and functions are not differentiable at corners. In the next video, we're going to take a deeper look at piecewise functions in terms of differentiability and continuity. Stay tuned. But for now, let's end this video remembering the idea that a function is differentiable at a point x equals c if the derivative exists at x equals c. And that's how you rock calculus.